everybody. Welcome back to another Craft Break Live. My name is Emma Panuski. I'm a content creator here at Plaid. And today we are going to be having a lot of fun with our folk art drizzle. It's a really wonderful pouring paint. The line is quite extensive. There are uh, a wide variety of beautiful colors to choose from. And we also have some really great tools to help you have fun pouring. So I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite tool sets and just kind of briefly going over um, some of the other great tools we have in our line while making a really fun Valentine's inspired pour. So before we get too into it, Stephen White is in the studio with us. So if you have any questions or comments throughout our live stream, um, you can list them down below. Stephen's gonna be reading all of your comments and getting back to you. Absolutely, how's it going, Emma? Good, how are you, Stephen? I'm good, I feel like we haven't talked about drizzle in a long time. I know. Yeah, and also it's worth mentioning, Emma, that we are doing a sale on our website for yes. Drizzle right now, and it goes all the way through the 21st uh, when you use the code ARTKITS at checkout, you will save 20% off, and that's A-R-T-K-I-T-S. Awesome, that is great to know. So you can go to platonline.com to check out that great deal that we're having right now. All of the information for that deal uh, is gonna be listed on platonline.com and Steven's also going to put it in the uh, comment section of this video for you guys to go check out. So if you ins are inspired by the end of our live stream today, then make sure to go to platonline.com to pick out some drizzle tools for yourself so that you can go ahead and start pouring. Okay, so. Um, the first thing that we, I want to do is I'm going to get right into pouring. So I want to go over all of the supplies that you're going to want to have with you. If you've never poured before, it is a really great and actually pretty easy way to um, get your creative juices flowing. I love pouring. There are so many great things that you can do with it. And the most fun thing, in my opinion, about pouring is that you could pour a thousand times and not one will ever look the same. It is really fun and it's a really great expressive form of art. So I have this really cute um, heart stretched canvas here that we're going to make our Valentine's masterpiece on. Um, so that's one thing. You're going to want to have your pouring surface. Um, another great thing to point out is that our drizzle paint is indoor-outdoor safe. So you can put this on your door, um, kind of like as a little wreath for Valentine's Day or, um, of course, in your home. So I have my surface that I'm going to pour on. I also have this baking tray here. So this is something that I like to have whenever I pour. It's a non-stick baking tray. And the reason I like to use it is because it's really great at covering your workspace because pouring can get a little bit messy. Um, and then another cool thing about it that I'll get a little bit more into towards the end of our live stream, but once you kind of do your pouring, and you let this dry overnight, all of the excess paint on your pan, you can peel it up because the baking tray is non-stick, and then you can cut out some really cool designs. You can Mod Podge them onto some 3D surfaces, or cut out some shapes, um, and stick those on a stretched canvas of your choosing, so that's really cool. I also have some thumbtacks, which are really great for um, keeping our canvas elevated so that it dries a lot easier and it doesn't get all messy in our baking tray. And then of course our drizzle paint. So I'm going to be going for a kind of monochromatic look. I'm going to be using um, island hop mainly and we're actually going to be doing a little bit of color mixing. So the great thing about drizzle is that there are dozens of different colors to choose from. We have, um, it has a really beautiful glossy finish, which is pretty unique to the drizzle pouring paint. And then we also have some really cool specialty paints. So we have this um, color shifting paint right here, and this one is called Cloud Surf. It shifts color in the changing light, so very cool thing to drizzle. Um, so yeah, I guess we're ready to get started. So right now, I'm gonna take out this paper cup and we're gonna get into a little bit of color mixing. So I have cloud nine right here, which is white. So I'm gonna put about, I'm gonna do about a 50-50 ratio of our cloud nine to our island top. And I'm gonna try to make a really beautiful light pink color. Emma, are you planning on uh, 
making these colors blend? Like you doing a dirty pour, or are you gonna just pour it straight out of the cup like that? What's what's the move here? I'm not gonna tell you, Stephen, because we're gonna use another really cool tool to actually pour onto our canvas. I love it. So um, I guess we can start talking about the tools now. So you can use like a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick or any type of utensil that you want to stir these two colors together, but this is a great opportunity to start talking about the toolkit that I'm going to be using. So this is what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, it's a 13-piece set. It comes with a lot of cool swiper tools, some droppers, and some sticks. Oh, I think I already have one open over here, yeah. Okay, so I'll do a little unboxing for you all. Okay, so as you can see, it comes with these swiping tools, which I'll show you a little bit about. So it comes with these three swiping tools, which all create um, varying different designs on your pour. This is probably one of my favorite tools to use because you get so much in the little kit and you can just make dozens and dozens of different really cool designs with it. So you have four little droppers, which we're definitely gonna be using in this pour. I have an idea in mind. And then of course we have our wooden stir sticks, which are really cool for um, creating I like to kind of paint with them when I do pour, so I'll do my initial pour, and then I'll use a little wooden stick to create kind of some negative space in the pour, which is really fun to do. But I'm gonna use it as a, gonna have a dual purpose today. I'm gonna use it to mix these two colors together until we get that really beautiful, kind of like creamy candy pink. It's looking good. I'm gonna add a little bit more white. The cool thing about drizzle is there's not really a wrong way to do it. Exactly. And it's a really great um, kind of beginner paint line if you wanted to kind of dip your toes into pouring because it's pre-mixed for you, which means that you don't have to add any type of pouring medium. The great thing about drizzle um, is that once you pour your colors together, they don't blend and get muddy and brown, which of course you don't want in a pour. You want your colors to stay really vibrant and separate. Um, so that is like really the greatest thing about our drizzle paint. And then of course it has that really beautiful glossy finish. And you know, we don't you normally do a whole lot of color mixing or we don't show you guys a whole lot of color mixing with our drizzle, um, just because we have so many great colors in the line. But I thought it would be fun to just dabble into that today to create a really cool monochromatic pour. You've almost got a uh, cotton candy pink. I know, pour it's really there. pretty. That's, that's exactly what I'm going for, Stephen. Great. Okay, so we have our light pink that we mixed up. We have our original island hop. And then this is that metallic paint that I was talking about. This is our cloud surf, which is just a really beautiful pearlescent metallic white color. And I think that would be really fun to add into our pour today. So I'm gonna remove this lid really quick. Okay, so introducing another one of our drizzle tools. We have our three slot divider cup. So this is really cool. Um, I'm not gonna explain too much of what it does because I'm gonna show you what it does in action. So I'm gonna take my light pink color that we mixed and I'm gonna put this into one of the sections and I'm gonna fill it up all the way. In the middle section I'm gonna go ahead and put our cloud surf. And again I'm gonna fill that guy up all the way. And then in the final third section, we're gonna add in our island hop. A 
Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and take my canvas back out. And so this is where our uh, push pins come into play. I'm going to put a push, push pin at all of the corners of our canvas here to keep it elevated from our pan. Yeah, the thumbtacks really are uh, a crucial, necessary yeah, step. for sure. You wouldn't want to have to uh, mess up what you've done by picking up the side of the canvas. You exactly. Know. Your fingers get a little bit messy. I also should mention that it's non-toxic and water-based. So if you do get it on your fingers, they'll come. Uh, the paint will come off with some warm soap and water. But, you know, you have to keep going to the sink. It's good to have some baby wipes here, too. Mm -hmm. But you get it on your hands. Um, you will you can run the risk of messing up the sides. So yeah, that's a great point, Steven. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm taking my loaded uh, three divider cup and we are going to start pouring ooh, onto our heart canvas. So this is really where you can have a lot of fun. We're just pouring it all around our canvas, creating a cute little design. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up my pour. I'm gonna start tilting it a bit. And this is really when our pour starts to come to life. Take my divider cup again. And you can see exactly what that divider cup does. So it separates your paint so that you get some really cool, um, beautiful sections and lines of distinct color that butt up right against each other. So I'm going to do a little wiggle again. It's looking so cool. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my fingers real quick. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a separate paper cup and I'm gonna fill um, a little of my island pop in that cup. And now from that great toolkit that I was talking about in the beginning, I'm gonna take my dropper tool. Make sure I don't get my shirt in the pour. I'm gonna load some of the island top into it. And now with this dropper tool, you can get a really cool and precise splatter effect. So holding it above, I'm just going to drop, 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 getting some controlled splatters on my pour. Okay, cool. So with that, you guys, it is super easy to create some beautiful Valentine's Day art um, to celebrate the season. So again, this would be so cute to do for a um, like crafting night with your friends. This would be a great gift to give to your loved one for Valentine's Day. It would just make great decor for a Valentine's party or a Galentine's party maybe. Um, so I want to remind you guys again that we're having that really great drizzle sale on PlaidOnline.com right now. 
Um, all of the information for that sale is listed down below as well as on platonline.com. Anything else, Stephen? Uh, yeah, I just want to specify it's 20% off, uh, which is pretty good. We are doing that sale through the 21st as well, so you'll have plenty of time to uh, order things in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Very exciting. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you are inspired. I hope that you get to try out some uh, folk art drizzle for yourself. It's a lot of fun. There are endless opportunities that you can um, use with it. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Bye.